Good morning, everybody. Well, good evening, good day, good afternoon, good whatever it is, <laughs> wherever you are. I am Dixie with the Design and Style podcast, a podcast for designers by designers. I am one of your co-hosts, and the other co-host is the ever effervescent Rachel with Rachel Moriarty Interiors. We are so excited to get to talk to you guys today. Um, so we've seen some things pop up with our visibility challenge. And, and one of the things that we've seen a couple of times now is people saying, I don't think my people are online. And today we're going to tell you. That's my favorite excuse. <laughs> Your clients are online. Honey. You may not think that they are, but they are. Yeah. I mean, we, so first of all, we need to name that thing. Um, yeah. Take yourself out of, out, step back a little bit from, um, you know, that thing in the back of your mind where you're like, okay, I got to get visible. How do I get visible? Pull back a little bit and think about that statement. It doesn't make any sense. Everybody is online. Yeah. Everybody is online. It's 2017. It makes no, yeah, it's 2017. It doesn't make sense to say my clients are on, aren't online. Mm -hmm. It makes absolutely no sense. So I like to name that thing, that little thing that's telling you that there's your clients aren't online. That is actually a, a story. It's an upper limiting belief. It um and it's you know if you drill it down enough, it's resistance and it's fear. Yeah, that's its name. It's you know. So if you want to say Thank you, fear. Thank you, resistance. I know you're just trying to keep me safe and keep me from falling on my face, but all I'm trying to do is grow my business here. And you know what I mean? Like, yep. put it in check. Like, thank it. You know, I, I actually, back in the day, this is so crazy. I just remembered this, Dixie. I don't even think you, you and I have ever talked about this. I used to um, personify fear and resistance. Really? And, and write letters to them. Ooh. Yeah. Like, okay, fear. I get it. Like, I mm -hmm. thank you for always keeping me safe. Well, yeah, because it's a built-in instinct that's there. Thank God. Think of all the times that fear <laughs> has saved You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I'm going to cross the street. That I'm getting a weird vibe from that dude. Or, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or just whatever. I mean, yep. we want fear there. We, you know, we need fear. But... You know, fear shows up in the weirdest ways at the weirdest times when you're like, really? I'm just going to go on Facebook Live for three minutes, fear. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, so that if that is, you know, it sounds weird, but if you personify it and talk to it like it's your buddy, you know, like, mm -hmm. hey, chill out, be cool. Like, we're just doing this thing here. Not a big deal. Um, that might be a strategy you know, to help you. Like, yeah. and it's so funny. I don't know why I just remembered that. I think it was, it was perfect timing is what it was. Yeah, exactly. So, so if we look at this from the business sense, you know, which we look at it, which we do because there's two of us. <laughs> we got to come at it from all directions here from the business side. If you keep hearing about retailers who are having problems because people are buying things online that should be your clue right there. It's not less people are online, no. more people. More and more every day. My grandfather, who is now 90 some odd years old, was one of the first people that I knew who had an email. He had email years before I did. Mm -hmm. This is not a generational thing. Um, yeah. I see people of all shapes, sizes, ages, everything online. Yeah, my grandfather just got I mean, you know, my grandmother passed. She was the right. one that was the Facebook person. She loved mm -hmm. to see all the family and all that. He just, this weekend at my, my niece's uh, baptism got, you know, one of the family members gave him his new smartphone and it's getting them all set up. So, you know, it's like, but that's how mainstream it is where it isn't weird for right. you to be like, don't put your real name on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like not that anymore. It is so commonplace. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could, I could, I get really wound up about this one. It's my favorite excuse to hear because, um, you know, I, th I think I remember 
definitely, you know, even when I don't, when I feel like I don't want to post, it's like, well, you know, I get this thing, well, no one's watching anyway, or people are going to get so sick of you. Right. You know, there's like all of those stories. But if you don't put it out there, like if you have been doing it and then you stop, do you, I have people say, Hey, where'd you go? (laughs) Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, exactly. So So people are watching you. The other thing we want you to take note of is a lot of people think that I'm going to get online and I'm going to have an instant success. Or if I just, you know, I'm going to start putting this effort and then, you know, five days go by, you know, of consistent Mm -hmm. effort and nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. So they think, I mean, nothing visible changes, right? It's, Right. Yeah. It, it, it can happen. Um, but the, you're, you're creating a relationship. You wouldn't meet Finger. somebody in person and after five times be like, so you want to get in bed with me uh-huh. or, you know, you want to hand me $3,000 to do this thing. Right. We're priming people. It does not, it is not instant ROI. It's not going to happen from being visible five times. And interior design specifically is a very, personal thing. That's the whole point. We want to make their homes right for them. We know all kinds, and we talked about this a little bit with Stephanie last week. We know all kinds of details about these people. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to trust you. Absolutely. And the no like trust, which is something that we can beat into the ground, but it's always going to be true. People have to know, like, and trust you. And that comes with time. And visibility. I mean, you have to be, you have to be on their phone. I mean, uh, this may be a little TMI, but I was thinking today, because I had put my phone, you know, up on my shelf while I shower Uh and listen, I will listen to, you know, either a podcast or whatever. Mm -hmm. And And I just think, wow, this person that I'm listening to doesn't know that I'm naked right. <laughs> I'm listening to them. Like that is so crazy intimate. And people have given us uh, screenshots of, you know, when they listen to us or watch us and mm-hmm. it's, you know, I watch you while I exercise or I was getting dressed and you know what yeah. I mean? It's so crazy. Like how intimate it can be. Or may, you know, I'm maybe looking at you and I'm still in bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I or, you know, not yeah. still the better. It's the last thing I look at. I mean, it is, that is so, there is, it's crazy because you are in bed with them or in the shower with them or, you know, mm-hmm. that is such a, yesterday, we had yesterday, um, <laughs> <laughs> we had a meeting with our new partners, my Doma. Mm-hmm. We hopped on video and went straight into talks, right? We didn't, there was really no niceties or whatever. And it took a few minutes to say, oh, we haven't met with, it was Alicia Ward from My Doma. Mm -hmm. And it was like, and then we started laughing because I've watched her webinars. She's watched a gazillion lives of me. So we didn't even realize that we didn't even, we had never talked before. We had never face-to-face videoed one-on-one. Right, because we'd been in so many different things and seen each other so many different times. Like, we feel like we just know each other. That was the funniest thing. Like, we had to be like, oh, we had to step back and then do that awkward hi. You know what I mean? And then, like, move forward again. Because it clicked perfectly in the beginning. We knew each other. And then we're like, oh, wait, this is... This is the first time we're talking it's ever. Cool. It's weird and cool. Okay. Acknowledge that. Move on. So that is, I mean, that's definitely, yeah. you know. Uh, that, that's the whole point. We have all gotten to know each other by seeing what we're putting out there online. Which brings up, um, it's not only not always instant. In fact, it's usually not. Sometimes the projects that you get are not going to be what you think that they are. It may not be a project with a design client. It may be a partnership with um, anthropology. 
right? Or you're a design blogger. We are all design bloggers. Right. It can be, you know, you may get recognition from a brand mm -hmm. saying this girl is like, we want her to be the face. She's in it. She's got a, you know, a following of mommies mm -hmm. and stay at home moms, which is our perfect client. And we'd love her blog. You yeah. know, she's so informative. She writes great. It could be that. And then you're making sales all of a sudden your, your blog's making money. Mm -hmm. Or even little things like, um, a couple of years ago, wasn't that long ago, within the last year, <laughs> It feels like it's been a couple of years ago. Then the last year I did a video talking about floor, F-L-O-R, floor carpet tiles. And I talked about why I love them and how they worked. And they shared my video, which meant more people got to see me. Other people outside boosts your visibility with your own people. Yeah. It's not, it's not just an automatic one and done kind of thing. You have to keep going out there and expanding your audience and growing. That's, that's happened to me. We were at a like kitchen showroom and same thing. They had this cool Mila appliance that made mm. like cappuccinos. It was like mm. push of a button and it made the foam and everything. And uh, we were like, Whoa, let's do a live with this. We did a live and um, ended up being shared all over Italy because we didn't know, but the, the kitchen showroom, the brand was from Italy. Mm -hmm. And so we were like going all over the world. This little thing kept getting shared and shared and shared. It was crazy. So you just never know. That local appliance store. I'm in a commercial. Like you're in a commercial. commercial. I yeah. knew you have to share that in our group. I, I think I did once. No, you didn't. Yeah. No, I promise. No, you didn't. <laughs> it's been a while. I think you shared it on our page. Mm, you may be right. You may be right. I may need to go yeah. to that one again. Yeah, we need to find that one. That was my, that's my favorite. It's just one of those things where if somebody sees it and sees me, I'm not saying I'm going to get a sale out of it, but it shows that. But it also, you know, solidifies. Yeah. You know, this is a designer. Like I saw her in this advert that was, you know, of this kitchen appliance place, you mm -hmm. know, that's so cool. Yeah. I would love that. And that, that was because I was there, I was working on doing a video of my own and they said, Hey, while you're here, since you're so comfortable with video. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly the case. So your clients are online. Mm-hmm. If you are telling yourself that, please reach out to us, reach out to the group members. We will talk some sense into you. Yes. <laughs> and I do want to do a real quick shout out to Sarah. Oh my gosh. Amazing success. We, one of our club members, Sarah Wilson, who, um, if anybody's listening, they may know her as she goes by Cleopatra mm -hmm. is her like online name. Um, but she had an amazing success in our yeah. group, right? Go ahead and finish. I just wanted to shout <laughs> out her name so we can let her know. So she had done, it was a video, right? My she lack of coffee is kicking in. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was a video or photos but she did or behind the scenes yeah she did it behind the scenes she was showing things on her facebook she was present she was being visible and somebody it was part of our visibility challenge it was too yeah it was one of the prompts we did so she said i just want to let she told us the whole group i want to let you know that this does work because i had this lady contact me because she saw me talking about the kitchens or oh it, yeah it was a behind the scenes it was because it was a bathroom that she was redoing and everybody got all excited. That's great. I loved it though. When she came back and said, you know, my client said that she had been watching me for months, months. I mean, something like seven or eight months, mm -hmm. never commented mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. just was looking. She'd looked at several other designers and it hadn't, nothing had clicked for her except she was so intrigued by Sarah. Yes. She had had, she had saved her contact information just in yeah. case. 
And then watching that video, it's the one thing that she was like, was you know, you're the person that I need. Yeah. You don't know when that tipping point is going to come. You just have to keep going. So don't get into the mindset. Well, I did it. You're not done. <laughs> yeah. No, that was such a huge success. I, we were so happy yeah. to hear that. And we had initially thought it was an instant success. Which would have been amazing. But then she talked to her. I think uh -huh. it was after she talked to her, then she so. came back and said, oh, but if you do not have the content out there for people to follow you, there is someone in our group mm -hmm. that I asked her, I said, oh, did I meet you through my husband. I couldn't remember. And she said, no, I heard you on another podcast. I went to your, your website. I've read all of your blogs. I found you, you know what I mean? But if uh -huh. there isn't enough out there, if you're not putting yeah. stuff out there, how can anybody, you know, fall in love with you in that way that, you know, that will make them like want to be friends with you or, hire you trust you enough to tell you all of the things that you need to know to do your job exactly and i'm just gonna do one last point my clients all come from facebook um i mean mm -hmm. i have my circle of influence and referrals and stuff like that that's i mean that's a no-brainer we all have that but most of my clients come from facebook and none of them exception of one ever comment on anything that I put out. No. They never comment on my live feeds. They never comment on my projects. They never comment on anything. Um, but when I meet with them, they'll say, oh, remember that project that you posted that had this? They've mm -hmm. seen it. They've noted it. Um, they'll feed it back to me in our initial consultation. So they're there and they're watching. And the husbands are watching usually under the wife's profile if they don't have their own, yep. you know, so your clients are online. I guarantee you that your clients are online. And, you know, on top of that, I was telling Dixie, I was looking at my clients, my current clients right now, they've gotten all online and I have two lawyers, two doctors, a politician, and an Episcopal priest. That was my first, <laughs> he had hired me when I first sent that intention that I was going to you know, do design as a service right. because I was working nine to five. Mm -hmm. He was the first person that hired me for his church. And now I've, you know, for over these last couple of years, I've done several projects for him in his, in his um, own home. But, you know, these are, you know, politicians, doctors, lawyers, you know, I mean, these are yeah. the people and I get them Everybody online. Yeah. And one other little teeny, tiny little thing that just popped into my head even if they're not liking and commenting or asking questions, they're paying attention to how you are answering the questions that other people ask. And that's what makes them feel comfortable too. They know that you're not going to go, you want to do what? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. They know that you're going to say, well, I understand what you're saying, but da -da -da -da. So yeah. it's all about putting yourself out there and, and letting them get to know you so easy so much easier to do it one way right yeah especially if you're that awkward in person it's like so easy <laughs> it's so easy i don't know anybody who's awkward in person i don't know anyone like that <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for listening to this episode of the design and style podcast um dixie you want to do all the Absolutely. Yes. You can come over and find us speaking of the club, head over to Facebook. It is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash design and style podcast. And you can check us out and find out what we're all about. And what are we all about? Visibility. Visibility. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.